Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? This is Ted Felsberg, if you don't know who I am. Uh, making a quick video about this new company called Imagine AI. They do photo editing uh, with this artificial intelligence for people to do commercial photography, wedding photography, event photography. Uh, if you edit more than 10 photos for a client, this is a great software to use. So anyway, I made a couple other videos before about this and I uh, just want to kind of touch on one aspect of it. So Imagine AI is fantastic. It's taken what I used to do in 14 hours or 16 hours down to two or maybe three. So even though it's not going to come out perfect every single time and you still want to look at your images before you deliver them to your clients, it's really fantastic and it saves a ton of time, especially for the price. Oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, I want to talk about this one thing. So when Imagine AI gets it wrong, like let's say that you get back your photos from me, I generally get about 1,200 photos for a wedding. Um, I'll get them back and in certain parts of the day are not exactly the way I want them to be. So I fix them. But the coolest part is, I'm going to show you on my screen here. <laughs> The coolest part is, it does them, if, if they're wrong, they're wrong the same amount. So, let me kind of show you an example on my computer here. Um, basically, I'm in Lightroom right now. And uh, in grid view here, you can kind of see, like, I've gone through the photos a little bit. Not really touched anything, because I want to show you this. But basically, we'll, we'll just do the, the outside pictures here with the bridal party and the family photos. So, if you double click on them, fine, right? Good exposure, not too dark, not too bright. It's, it's fine. Um, but they're a little bit cool. The temperature that I would prefer on like the white dress and a white shirt is a little bit blue. You can see some blue hues here in, in this shirt, so I would want to make that warmer. What's really cool about Imagine AI is I got all these photos back from them, and this part is incorrect, but they're all incorrect at the same level. Why that's important is this. I'm going to highlight all of these. Scroll down to where it changes to a different part of the day. All of these photos I'm scrolling past right now, they're all cool by the same amount. What I mean by cool is they're a little bit too blue in the temperature. All right, here we go. We're going to stop right here. I have it all of them. So how many is that? That is 132 photos. So watch this. Instead of me having to go back and individually edit each individual one like I used to do, now I just go up here to um, the, uh, the quick develop. I think the menu is called. Yeah, quick develop. And the temperature button, I click this one here, make warmer, the double arrow one, once. All 132 of those photos are now warmer by three clicks. So if I go back in each one of them, now that blue hue that was part of the shirt and the dress, gone. Every single photo. You can even see some of them where it's fixing it in real time here as you look. Blue. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. Anyway, I just want to share that with you. So if you're having doubts about it, you get your first job back and you're like, oh, I got it wrong. Well, it's not really that big of a deal because they're all wrong exactly the same amount. So you can highlight a bunch of them, lift them up, either exposure or temperature or tint, whatever, and kind of fix them really, really quickly. Um, and when I'm done this entire job and I'm finally finished and I export it and give it to my clients, I can go back into the Imagine AI app and reteach it exactly what I really wanted it to do. And so that way when it gets it back, it says, oh, this is what he meant when he wanted us to do it. And it, eventually over time, it's going to get better and better and better and better the more I use it. This is so freaking awesome, guys. You have to try it out. Uh, thanks again for taking time to watch this. Have a good one. Bye.